A presentation by our NV Dancer. Welcome, welcome you all. We are here on a historic day. I'm Alan Bell, AKA AB the Hero, and we're in Ontario, California. Really like ice from Showtime, right. Baby Glove Butler. All right, so we've got the Chicago Ballers entering the building right now. Um, some great players here, a lot of athleticism on this team. Um, when you talk to the Chicago Ballers, they say that Montreal Dixon is the most athletic player in the Junior Basketball Association. So ladies and favorite player. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I like about the most about it, as we talk about this Atlanta team, these players, they are so ready to finally play against someone. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been beating up against each other for 10 plus days. They're ready to get the ball going against somebody else. Yes, yes, they are ready. And especially Ison Butler, who, who I, I'm not going to say his name. I want to do, what do you call Ison Butler? What is his nickname? Baby Glove. Baby Glove, because he's going to lock up. He's a 94 feet guy. So, we're going to Dixon if he wins this, this tip off here. Oh, here we go. It's underway. Oh, down in the comments, who do you think is going to score the first basket of the Junior Basketball Association? Here we go. Oh, spin move. Okay, all right. It's going down. The fast break is happening right now with these Atlanta ballers. Jordan Ray, three ball for the... One thing I want y'all to keep your eye on is, is Coach Eddie Denar here roaming the sidelines. The passion that he's going to bring to this team from the sideline is going to be electrifying. We've got hair in him. Oh, nice pass. Now with the right play, Harrison makes the shot. Okay, Harrison with some strong defense oh. in Hollywood. I would tell you, man, and watching those practices. Oh, oh we got Fion Brown with the throwdown. I told you. He told me. I like to dunk on people. And as we see that, he's getting it started with his first bucket. Says about opportunity that this, this league is bringing. All of the rules are NBA rules. So we're shooting from NBA three-point range. Let's see what type of adjustment that Coach Denar is going to make because he's going to have to do something with Big Jelly. You, he's going to either have to double and try to force it outside. But that's the one thing that Atlanta has. They have the ability to fill oh, it up. Oh, we got Deion Lyle with a three-point bucket. Jordan Ray pushes it. Oh, to the basket. Nice left-handed finish. Looks like we have Ja'Cory Hall is coming to the scores table. Kizo. Oh, Kizo. <laughs> there's the bounce that we've been talking the about. Bounce. Coach Bird told us yesterday that they're going to play 94 feet. Okay, and one. Oh, good steal. That's the defense that we were talking about from Ja'Cory Hall. Pass up front. Oh, that was a good break right there. Good break. Favorite move is the League of Their Own when I was one of the teams. Racine. Racine. So we got some tight defense on the perimeter from the Atlanta team. But oh, Linnell Watson with another shot. Oh. Three-point bucket. It's one of his own. Oh, nice pass. Great vision from Ja'Cory Hall. Comes in the game jacking. Uh-oh. They spent the time out here. Oh, I need Ja'Cory Hall to get that one back for us later on in the game. Keith Butler bringing the ball up the court. Oh, go straight to the basket. Oh, there we go. We spoke a little bit, and he had nothing but praises to sing about Big Jelly. I see some Butler with another quick shot. See if he can get something out of this. Uh, oh, I thought that was a little... Uh, Inbounds alley you play. That would have been exactly special. what it was. But you they want to play 94 feet on the defensive end, but they also want to push it on the offensive end. So right after that, make here we go. Oh, oh Hollywood finish. Coach Denard is screaming oh, for his team to push it. Baby there we glove. go. The baby glove. Oh, with the heads on. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness, <laughs> folks. That is going to be a top 10 play as of right now. Oh, see, we've been, we've, been, we've been talking about Ison Butler. We mentioned him in the pregame about him being a lockdown defender, baby glove. And you saw Hollywood comes out again. Oh, Big Jelly attacking the basket. Oh! Left-handed finish. <laughs> they throw it out front to Big Jelly. Let's see if he can get. Oh, what a the vision is there. And we talk right there. And Big I, Jelly with the I don't, assist. I don't mind the I don't mind the pass there, but I think Big Jelly probably could have laid that one up for him. Could have. Said. Oh, uh, another. Lead past the Big Jelly oh. with the reverse layup. Heard talked about is 
is beating the team with smarts. Oh! oh. Theon, Theon Brown. Brown! Great pass to avoid the steal right there. Oh, nice bucket by Ja'Cory Hall. That right there, he is some, some. Oh! This, this Chicago team close out strong. We've got some folks in the comments who said, on Fodem, Chicago is, I, Atlanta is pushing it. Oh, whoa! Sending us some space jam right there. I was expecting to see his arm stretch out. Waiting to see uh, first quarter. And he's back in here. Hopefully, I know he's hoping to put some more points back on the board. Kizo, Kizo started off really slow for those of y'all who just tuning in. But he has been 19. I want to say he's pretty close to that already. We got Hollywood Ray on the fast break. Oh, what a nice little layup. Boyd, who was a force in this first quarter. Mm. Corey Hall with the finesse layup. Your basketball association game. The Atlanta Ballers versus the Chicago Ballers. Ja'Cory Hall with the ease, different for him, but it's also even more special because it's the big baller brand lead. Who at? The Atlanta Ballers back on the break. Ja'Cory Hall attacks the hoop again. He the Chicago team's going to need Kizo to really step up. Deion Lyle with... Okay. Jordan Ray, who... In front of the rim. Linnell Watson with the nice finish with the quick bucket the court for the Atlanta Ballers. Swinging it around to Nigel Chaney with the, oh, with the feed back to Isom. Nice size. Um, he looks very, very explosive. Some of y'all may have seen a few clips. Oh. Um, some of the dunks that he's he's been doing in practice. You'll see that on full display. Oh! As Isom Butler, Isom Butler with just the flushes it down. Turning the ball up the court here. Looking to lead the charge and bringing these Chicago, Chicago ballers back into the game. Tone Singleton oh. with a three-pointer. Jelly, big jelly to get an easy uh, bunny like that. Oh, Montreal Dixon with the there. Oh. Oh. Nice finish. Oh. I, I said Harrison it. Rieger. Of the inaugural season, the first ever game of the Junior Basketball Association. Oh, Harrison, Harrison Rieger, Rieger with the finish. One. How they're doing this possession here. We got Kizo, who has been attacking heavy. Oh, nice pass. Nice finish by Harrison Rieger. Going straight to the basket. Oh, oh. that was a nice finish there. You, my, my companion let me know that there's here. For two seconds, almost looked like a goal 10. Pulled his hand away just at the last second. Ja'Cory Hall once again around the... Oh, oh and one. Ja'Cory Hall with the smooth finish. Oh, signature shoe in American basketball history. So this is definitely going to be a historic night for many accounts. Oh, oh Montreal Dixon. Dixon with the deadly from inside the the paint all evening. I'm sure, he just wanted to heat check and, and see if he still has left in this game though. This one seems to be over. This Atlanta ballers are dribbling out the clock, and folks, this is in the books. First JBA League game in history. First Junior Basketball Association game in the history of the. The league is over. The paradigm shift has, has happened. History is being made. As you've seen, a lot of people didn't think we'd be here right now. Absolutely. And so this is a monumentous occasion to have the first game in the books.